And when I got over there, I noticed that some of the kids were kind of giggling and laughing, you know? And I wondered why they were doing that. Well, why were they doing it? Well, they said, Marty, come over here and take a look at our pictures. So I walked on over there and I took a look. And do you know what it was? What was it, Marty? Well, it was in Arizona, I'll tell you that right now. Ron, they were looking at some dirty pictures and they wanted me to look too. Well, Marty, what did you do? Well, I said, look, guys, I like you a lot and I want to play with you, but I can't look at those pictures. I just can't do it. Well, what did they say, Marty? They said, oh, Marty, come on. Your parents are in the house. No one will see. Well, what did you say? I said, that may be true, but I know someone who will see, and that's God. That's right, Marty. You know, that kind of reminds me of a, a verse I'm thinking of in the Bible that's found in 2 Timothy 2.22. And it says that you should run away from anything that will give you evil thoughts. And as your companions, you should have friends who have pure and clean thoughts and will only give you good ideas. Well, you know what I decided to do? What's that, Marty? I decided to turn around and go right back home. Well, Marty, I'm real proud of you for that. And some of the kids were kind of laughing at me, too. Well, that's okay, Marty. I think they will respect you for your opinion. And, you know, I'm glad you weren't wishy-washy. I'm glad you remained firm in your belief that looking at those kind of things is wrong. I'm real proud of you, Marty, for the decision you made. Hey, I'm proud of you, too, Marty. Hey, Professor! Uh, you mean that is... I got my wishy-washy machine here. That is a wishy-washy yeah. machine.